Okay, Richard McLaughlin here. I am the marketing guy from Marketing Guy TV. Going to make a new video today. Today I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about applying some of the big system SEO strategies that I've outlined in a, in a few um, videos to the small end of town. This is this is what I get asked about a lot. It's like Richard, hey, okay, so you've analysed the SEO of these big sites, but how can I how can I implement those strategies on my small site, on my small directory, on my, you know, my little off-the-shelf WordPress directory, that sort of thing? How do I do it without the massive budgets of these big players or without a big programming team? That's a good question. I'm going to, in about 10 minutes, show you exactly how to do that. So here we go. All right, so let's start with my pets. Okay, so this is a little WordPress article marketing business directory um, that I just sort of play around within my spare time. So it's got it's got articles. Let's see some articles. Do, do, do. So articles about dogs, articles about cats, and it's got a little business directory. It's not very well done, I've got to say. I don't have a search on it or anything yet. I just sort of chucked it together. Um, but you get the general idea. So that's what it is, articles and um, articles in a directory. Running WordPress. So we have a look at some of the things like page speed. Look, it's not too shabby, 4.1 seconds. That's partly because I've already pre-optimized images. Um, and it, even though it's running WordPress, which is a bit slow, it's running Avada, which is a bit fast. Avada theme is pretty damn fine. It is my preferred theme when running WordPress. So 4.1 seconds, that's not too bad. Let's have a look at Google Page Speed Insights. Oh, a 42 and really quite slow. Yeah, people are going to be super bored. Yeah, got to sort that out. So what would I do? All right, so first of all, page speed. We have to get the page speed up. Let me show you how I would get the page speed up. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn on a bunch of plugins. Okay, all of these ones. So adaptive images, what that does is it it serves small images to small devices. Okay, so instead of taking a big image and and shrinking it down for a mobile, it just serves the small image in the first place. Um, don't need that. Auto optimize. It compresses your CSS and JS and your Google fonts and lazy loads your images and loads um, render blocking um, CSS properly. Yada yada yada. So your site's faster. Um, cache enabler. I like this this WordPress cache because it works well with different um, size images and um, a, a cache version for whether you've got a mobile or a desktop site. Um, U Image Optimizer, I've already run this. What this does is it losslessly compresses all of your images. So it takes away all the junk um, recorded against the image that you don't need um, and serves the image. No, nothing happens to the image in terms of quality, it's just as good. Leverage browser caching, that is to get rid of this bad boy telling the browser, look, cache this, these things. You don't have to reload them every time, just reload the cached version from the browser. Um, P PWA, that works with Avada. I'm not going to go into that in any great details now. Um, WebP Express, okay. So instead of loading JPEGs and PNGs, it loads WebP images. They're smaller, they're faster. Um, 404 auto direct a similar post. Okay, so instead of losing link juice because you've got um, inbound links coming to pages that don't exist anymore, what this little plugin does, it finds a page that's as close as possible to the one that you've deleted and it automatically 301s to it. It's not going to make the page faster, um, but I seem to have it turned off, so I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, Yoast SEO is my um, my uh, SEO plugin of choice. Um, different people uh, use different ones. I, I like it. Um, I've I've actually written a little update to go with it. Okay, so what WP SEO update does is. Okay, so I've talked about thin content. You don't want Google to index a page like this. This is a page from my business directory. Um, Umhurst Kennels. It's just been uploaded um, from some from somewhere else. Doesn't have a description. Doesn't have an image. It's not particularly useful. Yep. So I wouldn't want Google to index that. So I have written a little plugin that says check uh, if that page is empty using the Yoast SEO plugin. Add a no index meta tag to that page so that it's not um, indexed. Okay. So I'm just going to activate all of those. 
All right. Now I'm just going to go and check out that I've got all my settings right. All right. What do I want to do? Adaptive, adaptive images for WordPress. Yep, so the sizes are there. Oh, do I want it that small? Probably want it an 80. Yeah, let's have it as an 80. Alright, what else? What else can I set in here? Mm, auto optimize. Just going to go go through a few things here. So. The main things I've got going on here are I've got all of the CSS stuff ticked, yeah, and I have generated my um, my above the fold uh, CSS. <laughs> That's a free service. You just go here, you put your website into there, uh, you put your URL into their generator, generates the CSS for you. You paste it in there, off you go. It just works. Um, and I've got lazy load images turned on. All right, anything else that I can show you? No, everything's just fine. Let's see what that's done to our page speed. So I'm going to run a speed check at GT Metrics. Going to run one here too. Not sure if running, it, running them at the same time is a good idea. That might be a bit of a mistake. Hopefully I'll get under two and a half seconds at GT. And I'm looking for under 65 on mobile. Oh, an 80! Oh, that's very fast. I'm very happy with that. That's still a bit slow here though. Why have I got an 80 then? 91 for desktop. Let's run it again. See if I can get a cached version. Oh, 2.6. And look at those scores. Look at that. Super fast. Alright, so let's just recap what we've got going on here now. So now, this is running as fast as any of the big directories that you'll see, yeah, under under three seconds to load the page, and pretty good page speed scores on mobile and desktop, Google's got to be happy with that, super happy. Oh, look at that, we're under two seconds, so it is flying. Alright, so what are the other things that I'm looking at? Okay, so Amherst Kennels, let's refresh that now that I've booted that plugin up. Alright, I'm going to inspect the code. Uh, actually, I'm going to not inspect the code. Single pass on this video, not going to do it twice. We're looking for no index. Yes, look at that, automatically it's been added, no index. So this page is not going to be indexed by Google because it's a bit thin. But then, but wait, there's more. Okay, there's more. Um, so that's my pets. Now I've got, a, I've got another version of this website here. Okay, just us dogs, it's exactly the same, it's exactly the same system. Okay, I've just boop, uploaded it, but I've got slightly different data in here. I've got articles about dogs, go figure, just us dogs, and all the, the directory is full of dog businesses. But it's the, apart from that, the code's the same, or was the same, but what have I done here? Okay, I've done things a bit differently. Okay, so I know the, the, I know the speed is fine, I know, you know, I, I, I know that I'm doing everything I can um, in, in that regard, but then I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute, I don't want these empty pages to be indexed, but I don't want to lose crawl volume either, okay? So right now, yeah, mm, let's come back to my pets. Let's go to the directory here. All right, so I've got these, I've got, uh, I've got these filters here. Let's do an inspect on those. And out of the box, this plugin, Hold on, just open up this bad boy. All right, so that's a link. Yeah, look at that, that's a link. We don't want a link because what's gonna happen? Google's gonna follow that link. Now, there is a canonical tag pointing back to bird breeders. That's fine. So we don't lose link juice, but we lose crawl, we, 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 we lose crawl volume. Google's only gonna crawl a certain number of pages um, from your website per day. So you don't want to send Google down these pages um, that you're not ever going to have indexed because of the canonical tag. So what have I done? What have I done over here? I have hacked into the code a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. And now, and now, 
Let me just open that up. Now it's a form. Okay, so it's a form. It's still a URL, but because it's a form, a crawler isn't going to follow it. So Google, so Google doesn't try and view these pages. Like, <laughs> if you click on it, you're still going to get um, the actual URL, but Google doesn't look for it. Google doesn't find it, so that's really good. And guess what else? These pages, these are no index, aren't they? Because there's no information, there's no data. So, what... I wouldn't want Google to, to crawl that either, would I? So let's check that that out. Inspect. Uh, oh, that one is actually a link. Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's not working. Making this for the video. Um, what's going on here? Let's find one. All right, here's some really dodgy ones. No images. So they'll have a no index meta tag on them, you think? So I'm inspecting that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this one, this one has got a no index meta tag on it. So if, if we go here. All right, so this is a really thin page, yeah? Really rubbishy. Wouldn't want Google to index that. So let's have a look at the source. What's going on, people? Why am I getting that? All right, so it's no index. Okay, set so it's set to no index, but because it's set to no index, I've now programmed this website. So instead of being a link to it, drum roll, it's a form. So Google doesn't follow it. So what's this all cost me? This has cost me about oh, ten or fifteen hours of programming time. Um, and and some help I mean, help from a from a, um, a WordPress plugin expert. Um, and what have I got now? I now have a website that loads in under two seconds. It passes all Google um, PageSpeed scores really really well. And plus, I'm hoarding I'm hoarding link juice. I'm not having links go down page. Going, going down links like this. I'm hoarding um, crawl volume, okay? So so Google's only crawling the pages that I want and it doesn't go, oh, sorry, you're out of crawl volume, I'm not gonna crawl anymore, coming back tomorrow. It just spends time crawling the pages that I, that I want crawled. So it's absolutely possible for you to, to follow the strategies that I've put in place for the big sites, even if you've only got a small site. So if you're thinking about starting out a small directory, a small aggregator site, uh, a lead gen site, absolutely it's possible with WordPress. This video will now end.